The ancient Sith are a topic that we often draw upon to gain a full understanding of the dark side. Their knowledge and dark wisdom is what shaped the Sith Order into what it eventually became. Each individual Dark Lord offered what they could in the pursuit of progressing the Sith, and of course, their own rule. One of the most valuable commodities among the Sith, and even the Jedi for other reasons, is the holocrons of the Sith of old. The knowledge contained within them is key to many victories for the Dark, and the path to power and understanding within the Dark Side beyond what anyone can find anywhere else. But not every Sith shared this sentiment and opinion of the ancient Sith holocrons. In fact, one of our favorite Sith, Darth Plagueis, who was ever the contrarian, actually disliked learning from the ancients. And Plagueis even went as far as not permitting his apprentice, Darth Sidious, to study from their manuscripts either during his training. This is quite different from any other Sith that has come before Plagueis, as they all emphasize the study of the ancients in order to understand and respect where all of the Sith came from. However, However, Plagueis had a different idea, and it may in fact have actually been brilliant to not have Sidious study the ancient Sith holocrons too early in his training, and could have even made Sidious into a much stronger and wiser version than he was. So my friends, let's open up a holocron of our own and reveal the secrets of Plagueis not permitting Sidious to study from the ancient Sith. Our source today comes from the Darth Plagueis novelization, when Sidious is in some of his early days of training and Plagueis is taking him on a few field trips to various worlds. At this point in his training, Plagueis had given Sidious some documents that gave a general overview of Sith history and the stories of some of the most prominent members of the Order. However, Plagueis didn't give Sidious any of the holocrons to study, or anything else for that matter. In actuality, Plagueis really didn't have Sidious studying very much at all, but rather trained him in a far more hands-on approach, giving him a taste of the dark side not from books and texts, but from first-hand experience. Although Sidious later shows interest in learning from the old Sith by desiring to visit their planets of old instead of the ones that Plagueis had been showing him, this is what Plagueis had to say about the ancients and their old, dead worlds. You, Sidious, are impatient. Your hunger for power of the sorts you imagine is to be found on Korriban, Droman Kaas, and Zagula. As a side note here, all three of the worlds that Plagueis mentions here were at one point in time incredibly valuable to the Sith Empire. Korriban was the birthplace of the Sith. Droman Kaas was the capital of the Sith Empire in its heyday whenever the Great Galactic War was occurring, and Zygula is one of the least talked about but most fascinating Sith worlds. On Zygula, there was a powerful temple that was constructed by the Order of the Sith Lords. In this temple held a trove of Sith artifacts and knowledge. It was kept secret from the Jedi for many, many years, and was one of the last places in the galaxy that was purely, still, completely dark side in origins. If you would like a full holocron on the world of Zygula, please leave a like and request it in the comments below. But now, onto the topic at hand. Plagueis specifically did not want to take Palpatine to Zygula, since according to legends, it still hadn't been discovered at this point by the Jedi either, and wouldn't until much later in the Clone Wars, being found when Obi-Wan Kenobi and Bail Organa located it by mistake. But we digress, this is what Plagueis continues to teach his apprentice. If you are so curious, then let me tell you what you'll encounter in these reliquaries. You will find Jedi, treasure hunters, and legends. Of course there are tombs in the Valley of the Dark Lords, but they have been plundered and now draw only tourists. On Duxun, Yavin 4, and Zyost, the same you will find is true. If it's history that has caught your fancy, then I can show you a hundred worlds in which esoteric Sith symbols have been woven covertly into the architecture and culture. I can bore you for years on tales of Freed and Nad, Belia Darzu, and Darth Zana, who is alleged to have infiltrated the Jedi Temple, as well as of starships imbued with Sith consciousness. Is that your wish, Sidious, to become an academic? Once Plagueis' rant is over, Sidious simply implies that he only wishes to learn, Plagueis replies with that it is far better to learn in the here and now rather than look in the past for knowledge and power. The power that they desired could only be found by manipulating the present. And the presence was politics and the arrogance of the Jedi. Curiously, Palpatine then asks Plagueis if he should be distrustful of the legends of the ancient Sith, to which Plagueis responds with a fascinating explanation. Not distrustful, but holocrons contain knowledge specific and idiosyncratic to each Sith who constructed them. 
Real knowledge is passed by master to apprentice in sessions such as this, where nothing can be diluted nor forgotten. There may come a time, Sidious, when you may wish to console the holocrons of the past masters, but until then, you would do better not to be influenced by any of them. You must discover the dark side in your own way, and perfect power in your own fashion. I must say, I do not often agree with a lot of the things that Plagueis preaches and many of his views on the Force. However, Plagueis shows great wisdom here in not having Sidious study any of the knowledge of the ancient Sith and their biased information. But this also teaches Sidious something else. Plagueis himself passes on thoughts and knowledge that are full of biased information, and by denying Sidious the ancient holocrons, it teaches him to think for himself even when concerning the teachings of his very master. One of the main points is Plagueis doesn't believe in Sith spirits or life after death since he was unable to observe or test either of these facts personally. However, we do know that much later, Darth Sidious very much would believe in a life after death and a Sith spirit, eventually proving as much. Plagueis taught his apprentice a great truth and a great power to seek the dark side through personal experience and experimentation lining up with who Darth Plagueis is, a scientist. When Plagueis rhetorically asks Sidious if he wanted to become an academic, this is brilliant. Plagueis is making the point that the Sith, they are not cultists or scholars. They are changers, conquerors, and rulers. They do not merely study power, they are power. Knowledge of this sort can only be attained by trial and experience. Just like how most scientific breakthroughs require the scientists to experiment and to test theories in order to gain more understanding. Plagueis believed that the old Sith contained outdated views and happenings of old, dead eras. And by not allowing Sidious to study them in his youth and during his training, what Sidious' master effectively did was open up a path, a path for him to gain more power by claiming it all through his own search of the darkness. Plagueis taught Sidious to take authority for his own power, execute his own plans, build his own empire. That is why, as we examine the empire, it is all Darth Sidious. Nothing has influenced him from the past Sith Lords. This is purely Palpatine's vision. Everyone in Sidious' empire was replaceable, built by his own design, able to siphon everything he wanted from them and offered nothing in return. This was not something that Sidious had learned from an old holocron, but only something that he, Sheev Palpatine, shrewd senator of Naboo, Grand Chancellor, Emperor, could have inserted into his own Sith Order. With all of that said, Emperor Palpatine had a massive fascination with ancient Sith knowledge for his own personal interest and even entertainment and he very much did use much of their information to craft future plans, but the foundation of Darth Sidious was completely his own. However, for example, Sidious would get the Blackwing virus from Darth Scabarus, and from various other sources, he would piece together the knowledge of Darth Endedu and Darth Bane of Essence Transfer, not to mention the ability to conjure a Force Storm, and many other horrific experiments and discoveries. But with all of that said, the foundation in the dark side was all of his own. But of course, my friends and acolytes, what do you think? Do you believe it was wise for Plagueis to forbid Sidious's study of old holocrons? And do you believe that it is truly as brilliant as we do? As always, my friends, may the force be with you, and I will hopefully see you in another holocron.